Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Locking It Down with Lucy. It is show 23. 23 is one of my seven favourite numbers. Fact fans, there you go. We weren't expected to hear that on the show today. Let's see what we got in the chat. Let's say hello. Sorry, I'm a little late. We went for a, I went for a walk and a moan with my big bro Ben and my hands are so cold. Have you ever been so cold that your hands have felt like they've actually been frosted? Because I was like, I came back home and I picked up my phone and I was like literally typing in slow motion because I was just like, that's such a bizarre feeling. I was like, I literally, I felt like, a, you know, in a video game where someone freezes you, I had actually been frozen, but by the hands. So that was that was an interesting story. I'm sure I'm sure you enjoyed that much. Just so we got in the chat today on this lovely Thursday, Thursday evening. It, Jonathan M, hello. Ross, hello. Doomsday and Jeff, hello. And Jack, hi. How's it going? We got Yeet. Um, Sack Sham has a, an exam, so we wish him good luck. Uh, <laughs> actually, what am I drinking today? I'm drinking some Tizer. We you can't see, but you can only uh, actually. Let's not do that expensive laptop you're just gonna have to pretend here we go mm -mm -mm -mm. although i did almost drop some with my poor drink in quality of drinking whatever it's been it's been a long day you know how i changed the show from wednesday to thursday because thursday because wednesday was getting quite busy work-wise thursday is now getting quite busy work-wise i think every day of the week is pretty much a busy day but i quite like thursday it gives me more time to um to soak in the week and it feels like more of an end of the week sort of thing you know thursday you know I don't know about you, but I feel like Thursday's a good day-ish. I mean, it's pizza day, but it wasn't pizza day today, sadly. We had pizza on Tuesday. Uh, Jay Dolandy, what's up? Hello. We've got Silent um, Jet in the chat. We've got Terrence. Ducky. Ducky. I liked Ducky from Land Before Time. She was my favourite character. She was like, Ducky, Ducky, Ducky. I liked her. Uh, Red Village, hello. Um, abandoning the Dr Pepper. No, we got to shake up the old, the, um, the fizzy drinks. And also... I'm not in control of when they're bought. My dad bought this and I just, you know, drink whatever. But I did go to the shops. I see, that's the thing. Me and Big Bro Ben, we like to go for our walk and moan. It normally ends up with us going to Nisa, Nisa, who knows how you say the shop name, and just buying loads of sweets. So today, I bought a Malteser hot chocolate because it was very, very cold today, very, very cold. And I bought a Galaxy bar because what I needed more than anything was pure, unadulterated, hardcore chocolate. And I was like, you know what? I could have got your fancy munchies. I could have got your aero. But what I wanted was just a slab of chocolate to fix things. Because that's what you need. If it was, if I was in the office, me and Agnes, who used to sit behind me. We love Agnes. Shout out to Agnes. Um, I would turn to her or she would turn to me and we'd go, Nino, Nino. Which meant it was time to go into my locker, which is where it was kept, and break out the emergency chocolate box. Yes, everybody, we did have an emergency chocolate box. And you could, you, I mean, I had filled it with chocolate. There's still chocolate still in my emergency chocolate box, everybody. God knows what it's doing. I've got the fancy stuff in there as well. I didn't, I, you know, when, I, when people needed emergency chocolate, I knew where to go. Also, not only in my locker did live chocolate, also some British hunks lived there. Yeah, yeah, everybody. I, oh my God. That's the other thing I want to get out of my... I want to get out of my lock on my British hunks, basically. And I would hook people up with the hunks. I was like, you want to come see the hunks? And people were like, yeah, I want to see the hunks. So I would come to my locker and I'd open it and I had this pack of um, like Top Trumps cards, which was all like, like... Oh, was it like over 50s? But no, it wasn't. But it pretty much was. But Ed Sheeran was in it. Ed Sheeran got a pretty hard uh, roll of the dice in that. It was basically people who considered not hot, but hot. Or something I don't really understand. Like people like Nick Knowles was in there. Even Boris Johnson was in there. Like you, Phil Mitchell, a fictional character, was in there. So you know what I would I'd, I'd show people like so which which hunk do you want today? And uh, I gave them out to people, and uh, people responded well to the hunks. I I know how to cook the people up. Chocolate and hunks, I've got them all. Also, I've got this microwavable chocolate. I'm literally just filling up over here, just a snack hoard because we need the snacks. We need the snacks because. The world is rubbish, everybody. Shall we go to Low Light of the Week? Woo! Yeah, Low Light. Oh, it's a very happy song for Low Light of the Week. Um, Philip Schofield was in the list. Oh my God, everybody, if you're British, throw out some of your hunks that you think would have been in the thing and I'll tell you if you're right or wrong because I actually did do this as well around the office. God, the office, what a place. I actually went around with a post and I went, so who do you think's in the hunk list? And um, people guessed. And if, they, and if they got it right, do you know what they won? 
They won the hunk and people displayed it. They displayed it proudly. Uh, do you mean, I don't know what you mean, but Boris Johnson is beautiful. Uh, Neil got Boris Johnson and con- controversially, he also got Ed Miliband. He had both of, he had both of the uh, thing. Eamon Holmes, was he on it? I can't remember. I, I don't know, but you know what? I, I, I feel you with Eamon Holmes. David Attenborough, sadly not on the list. Um, who else was on this list? Ian Beale was on the list, which I thought was a strange choice, but uh, they all had like rankings as well. Hey, Chloe! Uh, which was like, so it'd be like sexiness out of 10. It'd also be charisma, which I thought was funny because all the politicians had like zero charisma. And I'm like, well, that's pretty much, that's pretty much true. Uh, what was the other things? There was a couple more like arbitrary things like, I don't know, what else? How else do you rank hotness? I, I mean, I don't know. I, I only, I only supplied. I didn't make the things. Prince Philip's got no. He wasn't actually. He wasn't. Carl Pinkerton. No, he wasn't on the list either. The guy from Simply Red was Mick Hutnell. I didn't know who he was to be honest. Um, yeah, but uh, that was to great amusement. I'm glad that some other British people in here have enjoyed. Piers Morgan. He was actually. He was Daniel. He was on the list. Sounds like the entire male cast of EastEnders is in top trouble. Actually, they were the only two. They were the only two. Now, who would I put from EastEnders? I just think Jay was pretty good looking. I mean, I, th- I feel really harsh saying he used to. I mean, he's still nice, I suppose. Uh, Idris Elba. I think he might have been there, but is he a little bit too good looking for the hunks? You know, you can you can over over hunk. Uh, maybe he, he topped up too much. I don't know why I'm doing this eyebrow movement. <laughs> I just got quite amused by my own eyebrows. Mm-hmm. Oh, because I can do the... Oh, wait, because you've got to look that way. Uh, 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 uh. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Yes, Simon Cowell was definitely on it. I mean, if if you're going to bold and brassly brazenly walk around with your shirt open about five buttons, you're, you're going to expect to be on the British 55 hunk list. Oh, do you know who was on the list as well? Louis Theroux. Louis Theroux, he's quite sweet, isn't he? Oh, he's like, sorry, I'm just gonna. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Yeah, that, okay. So I went to this woman's home and I asked to sit in her living room. He's just, he's just sweet. Um, so yeah, I think that's, I think that's enough hunk talk for that was, that was not where this was gonna go. But anyway, Lila of the week, which is why I started talking about this in the first place, is that uh, it's a shocking, breaking, almost news. Is that this is life. That Gordon Ramsay was on the list. Yes, sorry, I had to just, I had to just point that one out. Uh, is that I think the official communication that I have received is firstly, I was like, you know, all the new lockdown news, this might be our life for six months. I believe I have been found out. I have been found out that I might be working from home till June, June next year, everybody. That's, I mean, that's might be good news for you. Cause that means I still sit here for every Thursday until June, but I'm like, boy, I need to, I, June is like forever and a and a half. I can't I can't even begin to process that information. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sort out this terrible state and do something proper, like proper fixer upper. Although how funny is this actually is um uh, I got an email. Now I've not responded because I'm not really sure, you know, um about I don't know the legitimacy of this email. But someone was like, hey Lucy XP. Well, firstly, firstly, thank you for reaching out. Uh, it's Ludi XP, but I, I did quite like the conjoined of my name and the, the channel. They were basically offering to send me a desk, and I was like, "Ooh, a desk!" But uh, I could, I wouldn't have been able to fit the um, the desk in this room, to be honest. And also, I wasn't too sure how I felt about receiving free desks. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how other people do it, but that's the first time it's ever happened to me. So I was like, "Wow, this is quite exciting." But uh, also the email address, you know, you've got to look for that phishing before you start sending people your, you know, your where you live and stuff. You you got to make sure that uh, it was it was legit. But thank you to the kind person if you're watching. I do appreciate the uh, the offer. But um, and I did think about it, but I'm just not sure if it's like real. And also, I I'd feel a bit greedy saying yes if I just couldn't use the thing. So. Appreciate it. You have a bit of a... Eh. Can you make a room tour video, please? I mean, it's pretty much this, but maybe one day if I tidy it up a bit. I am thinking of doing a behind the scenes video, if anybody's interested. I think I put it out on my Instagram, but like how I go about making videos uh, all the way from, you know, where I like setting up, what equipment I have, um, how I set up my Premiere profiles, because um, I guess, like, I don't know if I talk about this much, but... I actually, well, I don't know, because I, I forget that other YouTubers operate differently, but I always just, like, get a notepad, write my stuff, and then film it, and then edit it all myself. Like, I don't have editors or anything, which I know some people do, and it's a totally viable option, uh, especially if you are if you want to make a lot of content. My God, I can't imagine doing... Like, that's why, that's why sometimes 
it's a little bit slow video wise because I'm trying to make things myself and I also like to try and teach myself something because I do I do enjoy the art of video editing so um, you know sometimes I'll sit there and I'm like oh can I do this cool thing and then I've got to look up like tutorials on how to do it etc or you know make the graphics myself for, for example so uh, that's why that's why things are do before and after clean no you know it gets pretty messy in here a lot of the time uh, to be honest it's, it's so small but maybe someday I will uh, I will grace you with the awfulness that is my room. Although, hey, I am really excited. So, um, basically, I did, like, paint out, like, some bits of my room because it was, like, really, like, gross. And now my wardrobe, instead of smelling like mould, it smells like my shoes, which for me is a win. I mean, most people wouldn't want that. But for me, I open that, I open that, and I'm like, oh, it smells like my shoes now. There you go. That, that was, that's what made me happy. But going back to the work from home thing, we did get, um... We did get this sent to us from work. Play at home, uh, which is, you know, this t-shirt that um, I don't know if I love it or hate it, to be honest, because it, part of it reminds me of everything I despise about life right now. I have to play at home. Not, it's, I'm not even playing at home. It's actually work from home. And so, but what I do like is I do like how on the um, on the sleeve here, you got the little PlayStation uh, logo. So uh, let's, shall we... Um, should we put, should we give it a, I haven't, I only literally opened this today. Should we give it a wear test? And now go to the wear test. Now fabric wise, it's, it's quite soft. I went for a small, normally I'd go for a medium to be honest. I don't know why I went small this time, but let's, oh, I've got to take my glasses off. Hang on. And I probably, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, a, a big small, a bit, maybe it's a schmedium. A schmedium t-shirt. Oh God, this is. <laughs> Ta-da! Now I look like Mr. Flippin' Blobby or something. Blobby, blobby, blobby! Because I've tried to put it on, on top of a... Ugh! On top of a hoodie. But I do really... <laughs> That's... Hello! That looks like one of those um, Shakespearean neck pieces. And I don't know any Shakespeare. To be or not to be? That is the question. On Lucy. Locking it down with Lucy. So, there we go. Look, that's not too bad, to be honest. I'm not going to wear it the whole time, but maybe I should. Maybe I will. Maybe I will wear it. This is the this is the attire now for the rest of the episode. Da da da. da. It's the uh... so yeah. It's the play the play at home T-shirt as modelled by me. What is going on? Sorry, Ugh, just I'm all I'm all fingers and thumbs today. So um, right, yeah, that T-shirt isn't coming off any time. No, I'm, I'm, you have to cut me out of it. Uh, t don't shirts go under hoodies? Yes, they they normally do. But here on locking it down with Lucy, we're unconventional. We we don't we don't we don't ride by the rules, everybody. We write the rules. Mm. So that's my, that's my low light of the week. Um, let me know uh, if you have any low lights of the week, uh, and I will read them out, and we will all commiserate with you. So that's that's what's going on. I'm going to have to play from home for quite some time, sadly. Uh, what about highlights of the week? Well, I guess we can't not mention. The big highlight of the week, which was the stream on Saturday, the big platinum number 100 Uncharted 4 live stream. My God, that was an experience. Like for a start, uh, it's probably the biggest, like it's the the biggest stream I'd ever done. Like I'm just like when I saw afterwards, you know, you get the analytics. I was just like, whoa! Like that was at one point at the end, 400 people were watching. I was like, wow, that's terrifying. Luckily, I don't keep when I'm doing the stream, I don't actually look at the stats, but. That was kind of overwhelming when I saw that. I was like, my God. I mean, I'm just a little sad that after everything, there was still some technical issues. But, you know, that's that's bound to happen. But, oh, that was... I wasn't expecting it to be like that. Like, I knew it would be long. But the loading times were so insane that that just added even more time. So by the end of it, I just couldn't even think anymore. How anybody does those 24-hour live streams, I... I I commend you. I bow down to you because I was absolutely knackered by the end of that. Holy crap! Like, I mean, if I, I guess maybe the lesson is I should have probably started a bit earlier, I suppose, because it got quite late, and uh, I was just happy that I did it. But I forgot to show you all the actual finishing time, and I've actually oh, I was meant to bring the um, the image with me because I took a sc screenshot of it. But my official speed run time was five hours and fourteen minutes, so I managed to do it with about forty five minutes to spare. Woo! -hoo! I like doing that clap. That's the clap that um. What's his face? Nick Frost does in Hot Fuzz and the monkeys. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty exciting. So thank you everybody who uh, made it uh, to the stream, got to say hi, or those who just watched it on demand. I am making a, an, a proper like episode for 
the you know like a, a regular road to platinum number 100 episode where i'll go through like filming i actually did it in chronological order as well so i filmed on the day the intro to the video did the actual live stream then the next day i filmed my review of the trophies and how i felt it all went i look absolutely shattered in that i'm like yeah so um if we look at list <laughs> I just did like literally normally I do like a couple of takes but uh, this time I was like a oh, one and done I was so tired I was just like but I just wanted to do it while I was still in the the vibe so uh, that will be coming I need to edit the rest of that but um yes that's uh, a video that's coming so that was that was exciting I'm, um Sean Slate saying it was a great stream well thank you very much I appreciate everybody um for for checking it out now obviously a lot of people are saying when's the big road to platinum 200 well everybody if you can wait this long it's coming to you very soon in the year of 2029. Yes, definitely. Probably. Oh no, I'm gonna... I do have at least five Platinums that I need to wrap up and then I need to think of a way to uh, continue continue the series. Yes, Lloyd Boy is asking, will the Plat Road to Platinum series continue? Yes, it will. So, you know, I'm gonna, you know, creatively call it Road to Platinum because A, SEO, you know, people already are familiar with the name. If I just called it something different like, you know, Platinum pursue or whatever it's not like people don't know what that is so it'd be like a totally different so i am going to keep the same sort of format obviously i need to make a new intro and stuff uh because i do like doing the like talking about the trophies i like earning the trophy especially the last one and then doing like a review of the list and how i felt it was so yes i will 100 percent uh continue so be excited and i'm gonna do lost legacy next and then i would have done all of the uncharted games Whew. and then uh lost legacy no 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 jack it's probably gonna go like this Lost Legacy, to give you all the spoiler alert, Lost Legacy, uh, maybe Cuphead, and then I need to do Persona 5, Dancing in Starlight, uh, Life is Strange 2, Concrete Genie, and then Detroit. But I'm not going to do an episode for all of those. So you'll probably get an episode for... Uh, uh, that's Oh my god, why can't I think Lost Legacy, Cuphead, and um, something else? I don't know, is Detroit interesting enough? I don't know. So, um, Golden Abyss on VR, yep, I did do Golden Abyss on VR, I played it on the train. I don't know, I'm like, yeah, I played it on the train, mm -hmm. get me? <laughs> like, as if that's some sort of achievement. Uh, no, 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 we're definitely, we're definitely not doing Super Meat Boy. So yeah, let's see some other people's highlights. Team Bestie, woo! I love a bit of Team Bestie, you know I do. So what's other people's highlights of the week? Uh, well, I just think. Think and drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... Ducky says, I finally got to play, um, finally got the Detroit Plat today. Congratulations. That was your highlight. Very good. Very good. I think I've just got to do a half a playthrough to get my plat now. Uh, I really want Cuphead Platinum, but I can't get past R2. It's so annoying. Jack, you can do it. I believe in you. Are you stuck on Grim Matchstick, I think? Or there are some tough ones in there, but I think it's just going in with the right sort of guns. Well, yeah, I guess they are called guns and just practicing, getting the, getting the thing. And there's a lot of great YouTube videos as well that can sort of help you with the pattern. So you got this. I believe in you. Um, oh, Heather C. Heather C. You're always on a platinum. You're 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 literally my idol. Uh, a platinum persona for golden about twenty minutes. My, my God, you've, you've really outdone yourself here. Good lord! I remember there was a there was a time where I thought I might platinum that game, and then I decided uh, no, I I can't. Um, highlight of the week was got my PS5 pre-ordered. Yes. Um, what else are people saying? Free Rocket League is a highlight as it's a decent game. Oh, that's pretty good. I've not I'm not on the old news. Have you done the Survival Crusher trophy on Chart 4? No. Now, yes, it does trigger me slightly that I don't have 100% on Chart 4, but I just don't I don't want to do it. I just don't want to sit and play multiplayer over and over again. I just can't. Do you know what I was thinking as well? I've got so many games that I need to play before the end of the year to have a competent grasp on what happened on 2020 because quite frankly 2020 is slipping through my fingers like i've literally played the last was part two and two hours of ghost of shima other than that i've played so much i'm at, do you know what since the uncharted 4 speed run i've played zero playstation at all i've just not had i just don't care well not that i don't care but i just don't know i just don't i'm not i'm not feeling it mr crabs i sort of just look at the games and like Man, like, I was thinking about putting ghost of shima back on but i was like oh, i don't know if i can be asked not that not that it's not a bad game. I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it. Oh, someone, <gasps> a Dark Souls Platinum. So that's Dave Krush. Oh, how would I say this? Kru oh my god, there's a lot of letters here. Dave, I'm just gonna, t I'm just gonna take a stab at it. Dave Krushki. Dave Krushki. Dark Souls Platinum and onto Dark Souls Three for me. Now again, I'm gonna give you a clap for that because I can't even be bothered to complete Dark Souls Three. Like I was thinking about playing it, but I was like, all those Covenant 
farming. I just, ah, just can't be bothered. I, this is just me now. The, the, just now I've reached 100. I'm like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just over it. Almost done with Uncharted 3. Love Sully. Great stuff. Um, Red Village has says, I've achieved my first platinum this week. It was Spider-Man. Spider-Man is a lot of people's first platinum. It's very good. Um, I don't know how you pick and choose which games to play. I'm totally consumed by them in all, all the way, though. Just hit platinum 333. Blimey, Graham. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's Tashima, is it? Most of Tashima? Tush. To to seem to see, I can't even say it. I'm just I'm tripping over my own tongue. Uh, did you hear Spider Man Remastered will have its own platinum? I mean trophy list. No, I don't hear any news anymore. I just stick my headphones on all day and just listen to music. Oh my god, there's this song that I can't stop singing. So basically, I don't know if anybody remembers the show called Waterloo Road. It was literally like a school show, like Waterloo Road. Mess, I don't know now. Like, oh, I was out in the playground and then Finn went and like pushed me in the pool and there was always like something going on with the family. That was, that was Waterloo Road, basically. So I listened to a playlist of... Um, Waterloo Road music and this song came up it was like she likes fish and chips no what is it no she likes red lipstick fish and chips orange juice and trips to the seaside red I can't stop singing it and it's really starting to drive me nuts I'm like for a start what are the she likes red lipstick let's just bring this down a second she likes red lip lipstick I can't even speak red lipstick fish and chips orange juice and trips to the seaside none of this rhymes I thought songs were supposed to rhyme <laughs> at least it, what, my old maybe i'm just old school in the song department but fish and chips red lipstick no red lipstick fish and chips orange juice who drinks orange juice with fish and chips you get that you get a can of coke lady um but yeah that's that's the song that's that's been stuck in my head um mm -mm -mm -mm. daniel roberts is currently working on modern warfare 2 campaign remastered plan at the moment very good Sarah's got um 20 seconds in the bleep test. I remember the bleep test. I came second in the bleep test once and I went I, I was um second to this girl who had a six pack. So I you know I was never going to best her, you know. She was like she was like a proper athlete and I was like you know what I'm just going to bow out here. Thank you very much. I, I did my time. Uh so yeah that's um Oh my god, I was obsessed with Waterloo Road, says Ducky. Yes, that was so good. Jack Rimmer was the best head teacher and I'll hear nothing of it. All right. Um Sounds like something the Catherine Tate would sing. <laughs> um, Lucy, what's your favourite animated movie? Hang on, now I'm just answering questions, but it would be The Lion King. So that, that was some good um, highlights of the week there. My other highlight of the week was just, I just love driving. I just love learning how to drive. I can't wait to be driving. And then I can sit in my car and go, she likes red lipstick, fish and chips, orange juice. None of these things I like, by the way. I don't, I don't like red lipstick. I don't like fish and chips that much. I mean, I normally opt for a, a sausage. Orange juice is fine, but you can drink too much orange juice, I was told. Bad for the waterworks, they say. And trips to the seaside normally is a bit miserable, to be quite fair. So I'm not this... Clearly this song was not about me. So, uh, no, 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 not the not the Lion King live action. Hell no. I've not even watched that out of spite. So um, there we go. Right, so that was my highlights and lowlights of the week. Um, continuing with yours. Um, thank you, everybody, for... Um... <laughs> I don't know. I just thought Graham said clear bit low. I don't know what that means. Uh, but so yeah. Oh god, I'm so flustered today because I probably because I didn't. I literally just turned the thing on like ten minutes before. So what do we got coming up on the show? Well, there'll be some topics, and we do have a lockdown showdown that's slightly different today, everybody. There will be not one but two special guests. Now, is one of the special guests just me under a different name? Maybe, but you'll have to wait to find out because we're gonna. We're going to introduce some magic to the show, everybody. Magic. Look, I even have a pack of cards. So Lucy the Elusive will be showing up later. Yes. Ha be excited. Hype for Lucy the Elusive. Right. So shall we go to clip of the week? Clip of the week. Oh, but before we get to clip of the week, we do need to give a shout out to someone that is near and dear to our hearts. You know, we all know her. We love her. It's best friend Bethany, who had an operation on her finger today. It's an ongoing story that um, Bethany, she tried to stop a shoplifter in her heroic efforts. Uh, also uh, tore a ligament on her finger. I think it was like this middle one or something. So today she did have an operation to reattach her ligament. And now she is resting peacefully at home. I hope she's resting peacefully at home. Actually, I think she is. She sent me a picture of her in a sling. So send your good vibes to best friend Bethany and pray for her finger to get well soon so that she can start, you know, playing Fall Guys again. Because did everybody see that monstrosity? Hang on, I'm going to have to get this up because is the special guest Dynamo? God, I wish. Um, this monstrosity 
Oh, how am I going to find it? It's on the Fall Guys Twitter. They showed us what lives beneath the face, the face plane, pay, plate, face, face plate. Yes, that's it. That's how you say words in a sentence. Oh God, yes. Look, it's it's truly horrific. Wait, we're gonna. I'm, I want to get the actual the actual tweet up. Right, prepare everybody. This is not. A, this is a PSA. This is not for the faint of heart. This is what the Fall Guys look like. Oh no, where's my where's my window capture? There we go. Look at this. So they're they're human shown scale. Six foot tall. They look happy, but they're actually atomically kind of strange. Look at that! Why like so I'm just wondering. Now if we're gonna break down the full guy's autonomy over here, what is like are they in a suit? I'm gonna say no because they've got a skeleton. Okay, so that's uh, what. Why have they got like legs like a uh, like a bird here? Like these backwards knees, and they're like it's like this, and what like their eyes just are part like they're coming out of this. I, there's too much happening that I, I'm not sure that like, they've got twisted spines, and it's just. It's 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 something out of a horror film. Like, look at them. Why have they got eyelashes? Can you see this, the detail? This. What is the next one? The next one is that's that's the horrificness. Look at it. Look at its face. Do you think the full guy smile? Because this thing has a skeleton with a mouth. So, and this looks like it's kind of like I don't know. Maybe it's just like. Do you know what this is? This is like the evolution of humanity after humanity. Oh, we've worked it out, everybody. We know what the Fall Guys are. So you, everybody's watched wall -E, right? So everyone's sitting around going, blah, blah, and they've forgotten how to walk. Well, this is what happens to the wall -E characters when they don't go back to Earth. They turn into this. They just go around blobbing like that. And honestly, that's a horrific sight that I, I can't bear to look at anymore. But So that means that when they take their face plates off, do their eyes just dangle? Like that? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> or is that their skin? And they just put, like, we put clothes on. They just stick their face on. I don't know. Answers on a postcard, please. Um, I beg of you all. So, there you go. Sleep well tonight, everybody. Sweet dreams in the Four Guys world. Skeleton skin for Four Guys. Looks like something out of a Tim Burton film. <laughs> there you go. Now I want to play it more. They look amazing. Oh, God. Well, I'm glad that it's a human times bird skeleton. Please take this off the screen. I have. Wally uh, Wii game is the best thing to ever touch the earth. I've never played that. Uh, our eyes turn into snail eyes. Yes, that's how evolution works. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you saw that. So, um, mm. now that we've um, now that we've seen that, uh, let's go to clip of the week. Now, clip of the week is uh, of uh, my sister at the weekend. Imogen, as you know, she's been on the show. She uh, does acting jobs. Oh my god, it's already half past. How have I babbled? for half an hour about nonsense gosh this show just flies by so clip of the week is my sister taking a coronavirus test because she got selected for three she got selected for one from the nhs just to help out and when she does an acting job they have to like coronavirus test her as well so she's got two acting jobs coming up so please enjoy oh no it's locked oh down. oh gosh i clicked too many things please enjoy clip of the week it's locked oh, down of course she would be vlogging it <laughs> jesus <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting content. So it's 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 a big day in lockdown. Imogen. If I start gagging, we turn the camera off. Well, no, we just we just cut it. Imogen's taking a coronavirus test for her acting job. Explain the situation. So, um, we don't show your address. Slash my address. Yeah. Slash our address. Jobs now. We have to take the coronavirus test. Mm -hmm. And I have another two coming. <laughs> Look at you. You've got the monopoly on coronavirus tests. It is the test. Let's so see. Get your, your nose out of it. Luna, Luna you're, you're, all your Luna, you're, you're gonna breaking Imogen's laptop. Just, just sit back. <gasps> Luna. <laughs> I'm going to close this. <laughs> okay, so here you go. Because I have another one as well because it's from the NHS, but... Uh, this is it. Uh, this so is you get Do you need to read the instructions? Where are the instructions? Prepare, first prepare yourself. Uh -uh. It says, familiarise yourself with the inside of your mouth. Get done. <laughs> you need to look at your mouth. <laughs> um, open your mouth wide and check they are. you can see the back of your throat. And if present, your tonsils, two fleshy lumps at the side and back of your throat. This is where you'll be wiping the swab. So, you know, open your oh. mouth. 
So you have to do it behind that little dangly thing. <laughs> bang, 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 yeah. bang, 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 bang. <laughs> okay, and it says, right, clean your hands with soap and water or hand sanitizer. Nuna just farted. I know it. <laughs> Have you got hand sanitizer? That little thing, 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 Okay, yeah, yeah. Exactly, right. all you need so, is a mirror. Okay, so the deal's been done. Uh, how do you feel? I feel violated. What was it like? The the throat, I knew I knew that the throat wouldn't be as bad as the nose. Like, the throat was, like, hot. It's like you gag. But the nose, I can't. Like, the pain. Because think about it, I've got a little nose, yeah. and then that's like, that, like, takes up, like, half of it. And then, like, the twisting. Yeah. So, like... Oh, my nose was violated. My throat was fine. My nose mm. was violated. God, do you think people have to do this on a regular basis as well when they've got like like footballers and stuff? That's crazy. Yeah. Anyways, thank you for letting us share this for Clip of the Week. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and oh, yeah. uh, buy a milkshake or something. Yeah, <laughs> well, no, it's, it's cool though. Yeah. Now put, cool. it, put it. Oh, right put it away. And then you put it in that one. And then seal that. Take the, there you the go. sticky thing off. The deed has been done. Well done, Imogen. Thank you. So there we go. That was Imogen very bravely taking a coronavirus test. I was filming a bit, and then I was like, "No, this is this is not to be filmed because it was like it wasn't very nice." So I just thought that was quite an interesting. Um, I don't know, it was just interesting to see someone having to to do it, you know, and because uh, it's like more of a like oh, what's it, a preventative thing? Because obviously she's going to go out into the world and um, do things. People are talking about if they had their tonsils removed. I've I've not ever. Uh, I don't know. Do people want to see? I don't people think what people want to see the inside of my mouth. I mean, I don't want to see it. So um, there we go. Um, big ups to Imogen. So let us go on to the main topic that I want to talk about. I wanted to talk about this for like literally ages. So I've not been playing much. Uh, so we're going to go on to what have I been watching? And um, during my uh, well, I guess it's been a whole month uh, since I went to the cinema. I don't know how if I talked about much about my cinema things. So this has been my um, my trip into watching Christopher Nolan movies, which I had never watched any of them before, like, the beginning of the month. So, basically, I was feeling really bored. Chris and Bethany, they were going to go to the cinema to watch Tenant, and uh, they were kind of like, well, we're going to the cinema if you want to come. And I was like, yes, please. Please take me. <laughs> so I was like, I don't care what this film is about. It's just good to be out. So the cinema experience itself was pretty cool because it was like a a big cinema which we, and we paid like extra money to get to the like the really super comfy seats where it's like really spaced out so it's like bigger seats more space for you and less people as well because you know the world so when i got there i was like i didn't even see anybody hardly like once you sat down you saw nobody and then you reclined which was really exciting so let's talk about the film itself um I, I had not watched anything beforehand to uh to, like no trailers or anything so watching it i was like i have no idea what is going on this is actually really boring but it's not as boring as sitting at home so i'm quite enjoying it and it was just i just remember there was a lot of talking about stuff that i i didn't really understand i mean he was doing stuff where he was like picking up bullets in reverse and i was just like what there was some very cool action sequences very good um effects i'll say like the going backwards stuff was was really cool uh i liked a lot of that and it was more like as i as we got to the end of it things started to come together a bit more but it was still I don't know, like, once I wrapped my head around how the time travel works, because it's not like travelling back in time, it's travelling backwards in time. So you're sort of like... Doo, 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 doo. But you still have to live the time. But it's very, like... I think it was an interesting concept, and I think I enjoyed it more after I'd watched it thinking about it, rather than actually watching it. Like, would I watch it again? Probably, like, I didn't... I wouldn't want to watch it again out of enjoyment. I'd more want to watch it again just to, you know, connect the puzzles of what happened. Um, just because it was... I don't know, there's a lot of things that happened at the end, which was like, oh, I see. So, you know, that was okay. That was my first forte. There was some very loud bits where it was like... Brrr, and Bethany was like, do you think the baby will be afraid? And I was like, God knows what a baby must think about. Like, imagine it's just like, la, la, la. And it's like... Mm, mm. That would be that would be a weird experience for it. Um, so yeah, that was the first film I watched. Then the next day, when I told Chris that I'd not watched any other Christopher Nolan films, I watched uh, Inception, 
So that was, I mean, I I knew of Inception. I knew it had Leonardo DiCaprio. And I knew there was some sort of thing about, you know, something happening and something happening. And people would go, oh, Inception. But I, did, I never really knew what that meant. So um, my, my thoughts on Inception. I liked the concept. Like, I, I'm very much into dreams. Like, I think dreams are really interesting. And I've definitely had the dream within a dream thing. Like, I've had, like, this dream. I'm sure everyone's had it. Where I had a dream. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh, God, like, what time is it? I better go downstairs and then I make breakfast. And then all of a sudden something crazy happens. And then you realize, hang on a minute, I'm still asleep. So you wake up. I've had, And then I was in a dream again. I couldn't believe that. That was really weird. So I actually did have like an Inception dream now and again. But my thing about Inception is whilst I did, I enjoyed the concept. I enjoyed what was happening. But I feel like it lost me at the end a bit. Like the action was, oh, yeah, my mouth is, by the way, I've got a double jointed jaw just to, so I can actually... I should have saved that for the lockdown showdown. Hey, look at me! I could put my I could put my fist in my mouth because it's yeah. It, so it clicks when it opens, and it's just like. So I can properly do that if I want to. There you go. That's my party trick: fist in the mouth. So, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, Inception. Yes, of course. So the the ending it slightly got me a bit like oh no the action sequence when they're in the snow place it just felt like. A shooting fight just for the sake of having a shootout or whatever that's the thing about movies i don't really care for i don't i don't care for fighting action or shooting action i just sort of like once i've seen it i've seen it all well i liked the other bits a bit better like a car chase is really more exciting oh actually i have seen the dark knight trilogy to be fair i forgot about those we'll come back to those but these were the ones that i'd i'd not seen so inception i liked it i definitely would want to watch it again just to again pull the pieces together it was it was an enjoyable film so the next film that I watched after that was Interstellar. Now this one was my actual favourite. I did talk about this quite a lot on the live stream because this 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 film, I was so into it that I couldn't stop watching YouTube videos about it afterwards. So I think I was going to be more like prone to liking this movie anyway because I quite like space. I'm, I'm into like space and stuff. Well, I'm not like, like super like, you know, I'm not just, you know, walking around and going, I love NASA, but I do like the idea of space and stuff. So, um... I was already quite like intrigued about, you know, what what the concept was all about black holes traveling to another planet. Oh, there's a lot of time travel and space stuff, which I also find quite fascinating. Like the bit on Miller's planet, I was like, wow. And then somebody tweeted something which I thought was very interesting. They were like, dogs must live on like Miller's planet. Like when you leave, you come back seven years as past them because they've got a shorter lifespan. Like you might just go out for two hours, but for them it's like seven years. And I'm like, oh, that's really quite sad when you think about it that way. But yes, in the set, oh my god, I felt so many emotions. Like whilst I was watching like Inception, I was like, oh, this is cool, this is cool. Whilst I was watching Interstellar, I was like, like the bit. I don't want to spoil it, but there was like a, a bit where I was like, I can't. I was so angry. I was like, I can't believe this is happening. Like I totally understand why it's happening because if I was in that situation, it would be really hard not for that to happen or not to want to do that. But I was like, oh, I was, I was fuming. Like I, I don't know if you've seen it, you probably know the, what, what I'm talking about, but. Now, it almost lost me at the end with the reveal about that weird bit. I was like, oh no, is it going to lose me? Is it going to lose me? And I still don't quite understand the the concept of what actually happened. But you know what? I think overall, it, it didn't really ruin my enjoyment. And I love the soundtrack as well. Ah, oh, the music. I just like how it's kind of haunting and it's got like those, like a time pressure to it. Ah, oh, I, I, yes, 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 yes. The Matt Damon part is definitely the bit that I was actually, I was actually saying to Chris like, oh my God, I can't believe this. I'm so angry right now. I just felt so angry. Uh, I also really like the characters. I was like, Murph, Murph. <laughs> Don't know why I have to say Murph with that weird look on my face. I quite like doing that, to be honest. But yeah, I, I, I really, really, really want to watch that again because I, I, I just really, I really, really, really liked it. It's been the first time I've liked a film that much in about a year. That doesn't seem like a very long length of time, but it is. Um, because I don't watch films that much. So that was exciting. And then after that, we watched The Prestige, which uh, was interesting. Now, I wasn't too sure how I felt about this one watching it. Because again, I'm not I'm not one for the olden days, you know. No offence to the olden days. You know, they had to happen. Otherwise, we couldn't have the newer days. But I was just like, you know, period pieces is what turned me off from acting. So I was like, I don't want to walk around in a corset. Doesn't sound like my kind of jam. So uh, we were watching it. Be Christian Bale, very good. Hugh Jackman, Hugh Jackman, by the way, his acting as the other character, like it was obviously blatantly him, but he did it so well that I would have, like, I literally, I totally believed that he was another character. Like his his mannerisms, his facial expressions, that really got me because I was like, no, this is definitely Hugh Jackman. But 
the way he was acting was just like I, I i enjoyed that a lot it was quite confusing the sort of time jumps and stuff also i do like a bit of christian bale and then the ending took a turn because i was like well, the thing is i didn't find the twist as twisty because i was kind of like i don't know maybe i mean i kind of guessed that there was something fishy about the other guy because it was like there was this other guy who was like they weren't showing him properly and he was clearly in heavy prosthetics i don't know why i'm talking about these movies like um no one's seen them or like i should be spoiling alert them i don't know but um i wasn't a hundred percent like oh i think it was more just a bit like i actually don't you know i was really sad about i was really sad about the bird you know how the bird trick where they would squash the birds and um it's you know then the one dies, but then they pretend it didn't die. I actually had a dream after watching The Prestige that I went to see like a, a group of magicians and they were all in these massive bird cages and you would like walk around and you would watch them. And if you didn't like what you were seeing, you would press a button and the magician would get squashed in the bird cage. And I was like, this is Bob, as Hermione, not that I'm a Harry Potter fan would say, this is barbaric. No, wait, hang on a minute. When it's like, what's that? It's wizard chest. That's totally barbaric. Well, that's what she says. Um, yeah, it was totally barbaric. But that was the dream I had after watching the prestige. I uh, dreamt about magicians being um, squashed in bird cages. And then I was like, you know, um, also Michael Caine is in all this film. The Langford double. We need to know which knot you did. Oh, that was a really bad. That was a really bad. <laughs> so there's three parts of a magic trick. First, there's the, uh, what's it? The pledge. This is where you show the audience something ordinary. Then you've got the second act, the turn. This is when you may take the thing and you make it disappear. Then there's the final act, and that's the hardest one. And that's the prestige. That's when you bring it back. <laughs> there you go, everybody. That's my um, my uh, my Michael Caine impression. Oh, a decent Hermione impression, says Lloyd. Thank you. Uh, my favourite Hermione impression is Devil snare, devil snare. It's deadly fun, but will melt it. No, what's it? Devil snare, devil snare. It's deadly fun, but will wilt in the sun. That's it. Devil snare hates sunlight. Or I'm going to go before either of us. Oh, no, what's the bit that she says? I'm going to go before we get, before either of us get killed or worse, expelled. Clearly, not a massive Harry Potter fan. I can't even quote it. So, you know, you can't. Re Although, what am I wearing? <laughs> new, new segment on the show. What am I wearing other than this? and all my other clothes i am i am doing a disservice everybody i won't show you but i am going to show you because i don't think i don't think this is a bad thing to show other people may disagree but to hell with it look i was wearing this it's uh it's a gryffindor sock i know it's bad practice isn't it one shouldn't be wearing the uh, the sock of another but I, i've lost the hufflepuff ones and i've lost the ravenclaw ones i mean they're the, they're the ones that everybody forgets about anyway i mean well if you're talking about forgetting let us not forget about, you know, who cares about the, uh, like, no offence to the, uh, the the Hogwarts in America. I don't know what it's called. Does anyone even know what they are? Like, does anyone, are you really anything if you're not a Hufflepuff? I mean, you know, sometimes I think about being a Hufflepuff, but do you know what's worse than being a Hufflepuff? Being a Thunderpuss or whatever it's called. Oh, I don't even know what they're called. There's the, the Thunderbags and the, I don't know, Waffle Bogs. I, I don't even know what that nonsense is. Just like she just put words together and just made them. No, there is no other. <laughs> You're only supposed to blow the doors off. I don't know. I don't. Is that from? Is that from um, Batman? I don't. I don't know how. How I, I watched the Batman films. They were quite good. I did like the um, the one with the Joker, but I haven't watched them enough to be like. <gasps> but I just like. I just like the Batman ones. So yeah, that's that's my ramble about just those films. To be quite honest, but. Having um, watched The Prestige, I was then I then thought about doing a bit of magic, you know, getting the old cards out and um, you know doing some magic on the show because we've done we've done a lot of things here uh, on Locking It Down with Lucy. You know, I've reenacted films, I've sung, I've um, what else have I done? Too much, too much. There's too too much has been done on this show. Um, yes. Oh, a knock at the door. Who could it be? I thought I'd just come. Oh, oh, well, everybody, the, 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 our, our special guest has arrived. It's very good. I'm probably on top. So now I am going to disappear for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, I've come back as Lucy the Elusive because, as we know, uh, magicians like Christian Bale has a very thick Cockney accent. Um, so, yeah, please put the. Please well, put the uh, If you would like to sit on this cushion, you may. Oh, okay. You might prop me up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like to treat my guests with uh, some sort of decorum and respect. So, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, this is uh, my sister Natasha. She's going to be the person that I shall be performing magic to. Hello. We, yeah, hello, welcome. 
Um, I think we're both in shot here. I don't know what I've got myself into. <laughs> I said I said I need an assistant. I mean, I asked for Scarlett Johansson, but she was busy, so we got Tasha. Jesus. <laughs> well, no. I mean, she's no, she's in the film. What were we talking about? The Prestige. Tasha's not seen The Prestige either. Oh. Do a Dynamo accent. Well, how's Di- Dynamo's from Birmingham, isn't he? Dynamo. I don't know. Yeah, he's Bur- He's yeah. I don't know. Or is how... he from? The he's, Midlands. No, he's from Birmingham. He's got a Birmingham. Birmingham. I'm yeah, di- like I'm, that. I'm Dynamo. We're gonna do some magic. <laughs> That's it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna trash any more accents. So now I'm Lucy the Elusive, and uh, I've got a few card tricks to show you guys. So uh, he's from Bradford. Where's Bradford? That's in the north somewhere, isn't it? Um. Yeah. Natasha, is Natasha Harry Potter fan too? Yes, I am, but not as extensive Ooh. as Lucy. As Lucy he talks about Harry Potter all the time. Exactly. So if I'm not an extensive fan, then Tasha's like a I don't know a 0.5 percent fan because I'm only a one percent fan, as we uh, can all tell. So Dynamo's from Leeds. So does he talk like this? Oh, I can't, do you know what? I haven't seen Leeds. Dynamo in ages. Is he from Leeds? I don't is know. he from Leeds? What is that? What accent is this? I don't know. But did you watch Waterloo Red? What are the words? Da, 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 yeah. Yeah, I did. I had done now, mess. I did my homework. And then that girl that was from Waterloo Road. There were lots of girls. Oh, like she's Claire. No, she's now in um, Hollyoaks. Well, everybody ends up in Hollyoaks if you're from the north. It's just the way it is. American accent. I guess I could do a little bit of uh, New York. Is it New York or is it the Bronx? If I got, went down the street and got some know. coffee. I can't, do, I can't do that accent. What, what's that from? Um, Brooklyn. Yeah, I suppose it's like Brooklyn. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not. Do like the Kim uh, Kardashian. So you can kind of do like, like West oh, Coast. My name is Courtney, and I just eat salad. It's just like all oh, she eats. Is salad. She just eats every time. Um, keeping up with Kardashians, she's yeah. just always eating freaking um, a bowl of salad. Oh. If I was gonna do like West Coast, then maybe I would talk a bit like this. But that's kind of like a little over the top. Because I know that people what don't really wearing? talk like this. Oh, this is a t-shirt that we got free from work. And I tried to show it by putting it over the top of this. And Doesn't now matter. I'm wearing three layers. So I look quite hench. Yeah, you do. I was thinking like you do. You look like you've gained some weight there. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's all part It's all part of the act. So, um, right, let's... Uh, oh, Bethany's here. Hello. We're going to do some magic now as per the prestige. So for the for my first act, for my first trick. So right. we're going to have to... So we're just going to have to put, turn the, pull the camera down so that we can... And see the magic. Right. Am I going to be wowed? Have you been working hard? A little bit. Okay. Not really. So it could all go terribly wrong. Mm. Um, right. So first for my, for my first trick, right. I am going to shuffle through the pack. Right. Okay. And when I when you tell me to stop, yep. I'm going to tell you what card it is. Now, I, now we have a confidence monitor here. I'm just going to check that we can see. We might have to get right. I'm going to, a full thing, I'm going to take this down so that I can't see the cards. Right, okay. So, let's do that now. Tasha, can you, conf- oh, look at this, Tasha, would you like to be scared? I'm now showing Tasha the full guy's skeleton. That doesn't scare me. Okay, that's alright then. Thank God for that. Right. We are now just looking at the chat. Can you confirm that yes. we can't see? I am looking at the chat and then behind the chat is the um, Google homepage. Okay, so... Here we go. I don't know how this is going to work right. in terms of doing it for the camera and you, so this could go horribly wrong. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, tell me when to stop. And let me just get my... Okay, so, tell me when you want me to stop. Stop. Okay, is it the Queen of Diamonds? It is indeed. Wait, abracadabra, I want to reach out and grab you. You're not very impressed by that no, one. No, that one doesn't impress me. Should we do one more? That don't impress me much. All right. Uh, uh, okay, sorry. All right, so you want to impress my magic trick? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that goes. Right, let's try one more. Let's try right, one more. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ready? So tell me, tell me when to stop. Stop. <laughs> okay. It is the king of aces? Spades? Spades. Spades. The king of spades. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. So there you go. That was uh, that's trick number one. Yes. Okay. It's Hopefully, like... Alfie gets impressive from here. Oh, sick burn! <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, thank you. Okay, so for my next trick, uh, we are going to have to get this back up again because we're going to need to.
There's, a, there's always a bit of no sound on locking it down with Lucy, you know? That's always the way. So I am going to, let me just, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know you're just filming your neck. Oh. <laughs> okay. So what am I supposed to be filming? Us. But why is the camera... Because I'll show you in a second. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right, 21. Okay, so what I want you to do is I would like you to film the keyboard. The keyboard. Yeah, because I'm going to lay these cards out. All right? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm hoping the sound is back now because I've put it on. Right, I would like you to pick a card and show the What, what am I just supposed to be just this? Yeah, because I'll, sh- I'll show you in a second. I'll show- so I've got my eyes shut, everybody, for full clarity. Properly can shut. Can people see both of this? Yeah, people can see both of these. <gasps> right, so pick a card with your other hand. And what, am I supposed to pick it out? Yeah, pick it out. Am I showing it to the crew? Show it to, show it to the audience. Right, I can't see. So what am I supposed to do with it now? So you remember what it is, yeah? Yeah. Put it back in the back. I think, yeah. Okay, so. I don't know what that is. Sound is good. Good, thank you, Daggy. Right. I am going to place the cards out like so. This is why you've got a film down here. Mm. Uh, and I want you to find where your card is, but don't show me until I've done all the cards. So look for your card, everybody. Look for where it is. Don't um, don't tell me. Guys, you can help as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so we just have to wait for this to, uh, you know... Do the thing. Right, what, what do I have to say when I found when, it? When, you t- when, when it's there, okay, which pile is it in? This one. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, so Tasha is saying it's in this pile. Don't forget, you're, you're camera woman B now. So I'm just going to take these. Yeah. And I'm going to... Where are they going? They're not going anywhere. They're just going into my hands here. Okay. And I'm going to lay it out again. Okay. So again, just look out for your card. And when I've laid them all out... Tell me which pile it is in. So I try and do this a little, a little bit quicker. Ooh, just a little bit. Ooh, uh, Ooh, just a little bit more. Ooh, uh, just a little bit. Ooh. Okay, which pile is it in? Uh, this one, right here. Are you sure? Yeah. Not that one. You sure you saw that one? Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. Okay, okay, for sure. I will take your word for it. I'm just gonna <laughs> pick the cards up again. Have you got like, um, is your fans called something like, you know, like CL fans or? No. You should give, you should give a name for your fans. Well, no, because they're just, they're, 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 I don't think, they're all just like, you know, they're all friends. Okay, again, I'm going to lay them all out. I don't want to have to like, you know, put a, a, a label. No, it's not a label, it's just you giving your fans a name. If you want Lucy to um, give you a name, put some suggestions down. Okay, so again, I am... Like the Ludi fan. I am a member like of the Magic Circle. That's why I'm Lucy the Elusive. All right, again, tell me which car, which pile your card is in. This one. All right, definitely? Yeah. Is there another one? No, okay. is that okay, one? Okay. Why are you trying to, like, you're making me feel like I don't even know my own brain at this point. Right, well, how many times have we done this? Did we do this? Is that the first time we've done yeah, this? Okay, so... The Lucias. Well, you know, that's all very well and good. But I think this time... I'll be able to show you which card is yours. Okay, so not these. I think this one's your card. Yes. Ah, duh, duh, duh. That is impressive. Duh, 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 that one impressed duh, me. Duh, duh, duh. I mean, the slight impressive look on my face. I mean, yeah. That did impress her some. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, so uh, uh, I got the cards, but have I got the magic? Now, don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah I trick you all right. night. But that won't give me love till I pick the card out of the pack. <laughs> right, okay, so, you know you know what? We got, we got, we got, I've got a few more cards up my sleeve. Whoa, so we can put this... Uh, we can put this back up. Right, now. what am I spooning with this? We can put that back. The platinum the platinum hunters. I like that. <laughs> the Hunters. Cool. Hunter Hurst Helmsy, right? Let's put this there. Lucius. And go. Um right. So Burn the witch <laughs> <laughs> Who's the witch? I'm the witch because I'm doing magic. Oh, There's a magic- your moles. Let's um let's stab your moles. That's what's what they do. Yeah, Sorry, I'm gonna pick this car. That's, that's not because very nice. Because I have nice. a birthmark on my neck. Where is it? Which which side is it? Is it oh yeah, side? that one. 
I have a birthmark on my neck. Yeah. And in the, I can't remember what century it was, but they would find girls with um, birthmark, birthmarks on their neck and pierce them. Hmm. Okay, so for my next trick, uh, I am also going to find your uh, your card out of the pack. It's What's cheating? So, um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Right, let's pick a card, any card at all. I have, oh wait, I'm going to put my, I'm going to put the confidence monitor down again so I can't. I can't cheat. So, uh, pick a card, any card at all. Okay, I've got one. Okay, pick it. And uh, please do show the audience. Dun, 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 okay, do you remember what it is? Why are you singing the Wii music? Oh, that will happen when I get this right. <laughs> what? Right, I'm putting it back like this. Yes, yeah? put it. Wait, well, let me just check what it is. Yeah, double check wait. that you know what it is. You don't want to do the length of double. All right, it's all right doing the magic, but you've got to make sure that you do the prestige. You you you, you make it come back. Okay, so put it back in the pack. It's back in the pack. Let's um, uh, shuffle it. I suppose that's how one <laughs> one does. I'm just then... kind of slightly just feel a bit scared sick next to you because just like <laughs> playing with the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> oh, but I've got my sleeves rolled up. Right, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to now try and find your card in face. the pack. Yeah. Okay, so um is it Is it that one? Wait, I can't see it. No. Oh. Dun, dun, uh, da, 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 da. Is it that one? Is it the ten of hearts? No. What? Oh. Uh, was it the eight of was it the eight of diamonds? Du, 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 du. Ace of hearts. Yeah, Jesus. Was it the ace of hearts? Yes. Playing with the ace of hearts. Right, see you later, guys. Wait, 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 wait. I've got one final, one final trick. Okay, this is the one. This is the granddaddy. Okay, that was just a fake out. That was a okay. fake out. That, is, okay, that was all. That was all to plan. So uh, it's all very well finding a card in the pack, but let's do some real magic. All right, you want to see some real magic? I'm going to make your card rise to the top of the pack. Rise! To the rise! Why did you sound so from Harry Potter again? Rise like a good souffle. Okay, so again, pick a card, any card at all. Okay, I've got my eyes shut. I cannot see. Please share it with yourself and the audience. Okay. When you are ready, please place a said card in the pack. Sorry. And this time, have you put it there? Wait, let me just... Yeah. Okay, and this time the Wii music Wait. shall play. I don't know what that is. Okay, I you do. You don't know what, I'm, what it is? <laughs> okay. Put it... Hey, where's the microphone here? Oh, it's there. Can I whisper to... Can you put your fingers in your ears? Is it the King of uh, Diamonds? Okay, have you done it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so let's put the uh, the card back in the pack. La, 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 da. It's back in the pack. Okay, you yeah, happy yeah, with that? Yeah, I don't right. know if people are going to help me out. Yeah, right. okay. Thank, thank you. Um, Wait, hang, but I can see the chat, right? Yeah, but no, just don't, just don't say, just say yes, like that person has. You don't know what it is. Well, I know now. Oh, Listen, okay. I don't... <sighs> okay, but you know, just so things are on the up and up. Let's give it a proper shuffle. Oh, cool. That's not too bad. Look, they yeah, all go in. that's quite good, actually. Okay, right, everybody. We want the card to rise to the top. Let and me feel I'll it. Let me feel it. Rise up. I'll rise uh, like the day. I'll okay, you've got to say up. the magic words. Abra goddamn cadabra. Jesus. So, uh, abra, dove, abra goddamn cadabra. Abra goddamn cadabra. Can I hear you all say it in your sully accent? Well, abra goddamn cadabra. Okay, so we, I feel, I think it's coming. I think it's coming. Is this your card? Yeah! Oh, 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 <laughs> you did. So, um, what is it? The king of the king of um, diamonds. Yes, the king of diamonds. We did the magic trick. Well, thank you very much. That's all the magic I have today. I magicked out, you know. There's only so much magic these hands can produce, you know. Apart from if I go. Wingardium Leviosa! 
Wingar- it's not Wingardium Leviosa. What does she say? It's Wingardium Leviosa, not Leviosa. So, well, thank you, everyone. I'm glad that uh, my magic blew your tiny mans. Well, it didn't really blow my mans. It blew your tiny mans. Did it? Did it? Oh, someone said in my man is blown. Ma- Good. I'm very, I'm very happy. That's all I learned. That's all the magic. Ducky my- said sorcery. My grandpa taught me some of those, actually. So, R.I.P. Grandpa. Your magic lives on. In yeah, my I magic know. hands. I remember you was very much, um, you would listen and you would yes, watch Grandpa I would, and I, I would, would just be sitting there like. Yes, I like doing that. All right, so let's take a few questions from the Chi A double chat and then we will skedaddle. Does anyone want to ask me questions? Yeah, if you want to ask Tasha a question while she's here, please pray do tell. Um, before I do the biggest <laughs> magic trick of them all and disappear. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Everyone say, ooh. Time for... A 50 card pick up. What Everyone is that? Everyone say, ah. What is your favourite card? Ma- magic trick of the, the week, the new segment. My God, that means I have to learn a magic trick. Every- and you, you, that's what you need to learn next, a coin trick, and I'll be very impressed. What is that when you do? You know, like- when you disappear the coin. You Lucy got to ruin the whole illusion now because you yes, don't know how to coin. do it. And. Oh, you didn't poke me in the eye! Jesus Christ! I felt the connection! <laughs> <laughs> do not touch my eye ever again. Okay, I'm sorry. Ever again. I don't know where that pound went. I don't now. even know where your fingers dance. <laughs> yeah, well, no, don't worry. I hand sanitized before the performance. It's there. Oh, thank you. Right. Gosh, my God. I could have turned to an A&E trick. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like a, there it is. Oh. And where is it gone? <gasps> you, it's gone. How did you use it? Exactly. I did. You <laughs> dropped it. I saw your hand. Oh, oh there, there it is. Hand. There it is. Well, there it is. So Ooh, there it is. Uh, there uh, question: it is. Have you gotten the PS5 pre-order? I have not. I have not pre-ordered my PS5 yet. Sad. Where'd you sad get that from. sick PlayStation shirt from? Uh, I got this from work because they're all like, "Hey, don't you love working from home?" And I was just like, "It makes me tremendously sad on a day-to-day basis." They're like, "Great, have a T-shirt to remind you about it." And I was like, "Yes, I'll take one of those in a small, thank you." <laughs> um. <laughs> Will we get a lock in it time with Natasha? <laughs> what would you I guess I could do a show. No, what what? Would, no, Tasha's drinky show would be necking it down with Natasha. Excuse no. you, what the frick? What I don't drink no, that, that much. I actually, we, we call you Tasha, so what would it be? It would be... Um, it would be, be, be the exciting adventures with Natasha. No, it's got to it's got to have alliteration. Like, I don't know what I don't know what's exciting about my life. Any more insta insta lives anytime soon? Oh yeah, I haven't done one of those in for ages. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Episode three through the one where Tasha lives yeah. and I. <laughs> I'll come back like this. This was the day that I lost my eye. Yeah. Oh, now that Bethany's in the chat, let's all throw some love at Bethany. Bethany chugging could... it down with Tasha. Chugging it down, yeah. I like that. Um, yeah, look, earlier in the show, Bethany, we sent you some positive vibes for your finger. So um, there we go. Taking shots with Tasha. Positive I like vibes. Yeah, because she had to have an operation today. Oh, yeah. I, hope, I hope you're okay, Bethany. Yeah. Um, another question. Have you ever considered getting an Xbox Series X? No, I have not. Getting tipsy with Tasha. I like that because he's... That's little... it. That's, that's the alliteration. Getting Maybe tipsy. I should do one... Where I'm just drinking and I answer questions or I play <laughs> Yeah, or we could make cocktails or something. Yeah, we should make cocktails. And then, I don't know anything about I don't drinking. know what you're like when you're drunk. So. No, nor do I. You, um, don't, you don't drink, do you? You have got, you got your 100th Platinum. I did get my 100th Platinum. It was It's on the channel. And this week there will be a video as well. So prepare your minds for that. What did... I just put my money back away. Oh, I was like, I thought you were going to bring something and then you just... On the lash with Tash. That's a good one. I like how I've just made you into an alcoholic. For no apparent Tash. reason. To get, guys, right. I'm 26 now. I drunk like an absolute wrong one when I was 18. Now I'm 26. This is a long time ago. Like a wrong one. Like a wrong one. I came home spewing my guts. She was a right wrong one back in the day. That's my Michael Caine impression. Where is Michael Caine from? No one actually knows. I mean, I've got one interesting story. I'm a twin. I've got a twin brother. And one day I got so drunk that my friend dropped me off at the house, literally just pushed me to my brother. My brother was like, uh, what do I do with this? What oh, do I wow. do with my sister now? That is, that is quite the story. I don't think I have a story the comparable. End. The end. Uh, is the next video going to be Lost Legacy? The next one's just going to be the Uncharted 4 one. Uh, make cocktails that are video game related. That, oh, that's a good one, Beth. Yeah, we could do that. Um, 
Yeah, well, well, we'll think about how we will get on the lash with Tash or tipsy, tipsy with Tash. <laughs> on the lash with Tash! <laughs> yeah, we could just set up a bar. So, uh, at last last orders for questions. Ding, 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 last orders, as they say. Although, you know, we've got to wrap up before 10 o'clock. New rules, new rules. Gotta, gotta go home. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> um, what else people say in? How are we feeling about the Uncharted movie? Apprehensive? Oh, very apprehensive. I don't know. Someone sent me a picture of uh, Mark Wahlberg, is that his name? And he didn't even have a moustache. Yeah. Are you even Sully if you Someone don't have a moustache? says... Yeah. Define a wrong one. Wrong one. Right, define a wrong one. I will give my definition okay. and you give your definition. Okay. A wrong one is someone who is just wrong. <laughs> no, that, the rule of definitions is you can't define... Fine, okay, a wrong one is someone who does things that are just despicable. No, they're just on the they're just a little bit on the on the wrong side of the law. You just said wrong. You can't say yeah, wrong. Yeah, but I wasn't actually defining it. There was a difference. Okay, what's your def- definition of ro- uh, wrong? Someone who's a bit naughty. <laughs> Someone's a bit naughty. <laughs> a bit, a bit naughty. Uh, if it's true that Tom Holland is Nate, then I don't like it. No, Tom Holland is, isn't it? I think it, that's been confirmed. Uh, question up statement. Uh, oh, thank you. You should belong to PlayStation. Maybe one day, I'll, the PlayStation Action people will accept me for the loser I am. <laughs> um, right. God of War hype too, feeling it, feeling it, I suppose. Um, what's your favourite subject at school? Geography. Why are you asking me? Yeah, you can answer too, you're here. Oh, my favourite subject was English because I was quite good at English and I got an A and I was very impressed with myself. Mm. And I write short stories as well. Do you? Yeah, I do. My dad's Mom, got... Mum wants me to publish one of my short stories Does to she? a magazine. Yeah, she read it. She said she's really good. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Then, oh, someone just said, bring Natasha back. Future episodes for Natasha in. Ah! <laughs> Natasha is. <laughs> we are the Natasha. Wow, you've got a big fan base. <laughs> the Natashias are out in full force tonight. What does that mean? We are the Natasha. <laughs> hey, but if they, wanna, they must tash you a question. Oh, that was pretty good. Everyone used to go, tash. When I was at school. Did they? Mm-hmm. No, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, that's. I think that's all. That's all. Tash, the Tasha again. What is this? Next week it'll just be Tasha, Tasha on the show. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> how how very dare you, sir? How dare you? Someone asked for an Irish accent How earlier. Because I'm 30 something percent Irish. How dare you? It's getting very hot here. It's getting hot. Teen, Teen Imogen. Imogen. Oh, the war, the war. Bring Imogen back. Bring One Imogen day it'll just be back. you two. I'll just get you two to run the show. Oh my God. I'll take... just be alive, Actually, that it? is, unfortunately, everybody, I do have some housekeeping. Next week, I can't make the show because I have a driving lesson. So I might not be able. I'll either be late or I might make it or I'll get these two fools to do the show for me. <laughs> Tasha, you gag. Tasha, you do have to write official notes. This is, if anybody thinks this show is off the rails, right, can, that I, ask, are can I ask the yeah. Um, yeah. the team yeah. a question then? If me and Imogen was to do a show, what would you want to what What would you want to see? Uh, we need some ideas here, like the Tasha and Imogen show. What would you want to know? What you What would you want to know? This. And what would you want to see? I mean, we can play some PlayStation games because me and Imogen have no clue what we're doing. No, you can't play any PlayStation games. This is the setup. You have to sit here and okay, talk. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, we can talk about something, but... That's, what, that's what, the show. What you should do is give some suggestions or, or comment on this video of what you would want me and Imogen to do. Mm-hmm. It could be anything. We could, just chat. The, the whole show is just chatting, as Crazy Young says. Yeah, but we want to know... Okay, <laughs> Karaoke. Yeah, that's it. No, oh my god, we're all going to go and do karaoke again. That's what we'll do on the show because I've still got to do my man. I feel like a witch. Weird bur- personal bur- stories. Bur- I've got a lot of weird personal stories. Yeah, but we can't cross the line. No, I okay, want to go cross the line. Right, um, please call next time locking it down without Lucy. That's what it'd be called. Yes, I love it. So, Such an image and take over. Um, well, I'd like, you know, that'd be quite fun. I'll just come home and just put, stick my feet up and watch it. Like, like everybody else does. I'll get to watch the show for once. We're going to have to babble on. Right, I think it's time to wrap it up. So thank you very much, Tasha, for being uh, a guest at the end of the show, for being part of the magic. And uh, thank you, everybody, for being part of the show as well. Before we leave, we must always cross off another day of lockdown. And know that, Tasha, I haven't told you, but apparently we have to work from home until June 2021. Oh, I know. Oh, another day of lockdown. This is what I've got to put with it. Oh, can't go out. Oh. Corona. This, I'm not even joking. This is Lucy. Oh, it's not to do. 
God, it is really boring. It's really boring. And then there's me and Imogen like, uh-huh. Full lock with Lucy. Um, yeah, so that's the end of the show. I can't believe as well it went very quickly. I am now, I'm sweating like a hooker in church, as Sully would say. Because, you know, wearing three layers is quite I'm extreme. actually wearing two layers right here because I've got my pyjamas on underneath this. I mean, you're living the great life. I literally just stuck this t-shirt on. Thank you. I'm glad that you made an effort for the show because, look, I clearly didn't. So, um, right. Can you do a Jack Septicon impression? I don't know what he talks like. Apart from that, he's Irish. But there's lots of different Irish. So, uh... I'm not going to attempt it. Right. Um, everybody, I hope you are staying well and safe. Thank you so much for Bethany and Dan for doing some mod work in the chat. Once again, thank you, um, Tasha, for being here. And uh, and now for my final trick of the night, everybody. I'm going to make us disappear from the <gasps> internet. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Wait. What happens if I do this? Everybody, abracadabra, alakazam, make the live stream end in a bang. Bye. They can still see us. <laughs> yeah, that didn't quite work how I hoped it. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're disappearing now. Right, three, Bye. two, one. Bye.